Daniel was given the name Belteshar. His friends were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Those were the Babylonian names that they had. They were given new Babylonian clothes that gave them status. And they were fed from the king's table. All of these measures were taken to effectively destroy their Jewish identity and overlay this with a new Babylonian identity. Now, in the first story, Daniel and his three friends, whose Jewish names were Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, didn't want to eat the king's food because by doing so, they would break the covenant of law. It was not prepared according to the law that was in the covenant. It wasn't kosher. So Daniel persuaded the chief of the court officials to serve them only vegetables and water. And he agreed to do this for 10 days. And then he was going to assess how the young men compared to their colleagues. Now at the end of the 10 days, they looked healthier and brighter than any of the other young men. So they were allowed to continue with this diet. What the chief of the court officials probably didn't realize was that, was that by doing this, they also kept their Jewish identity. They remained faithful to the covenant of God. And God gave them knowledge and understanding to remain faithful. In fact, the story tells us that in every manner, matter of wisdom and understanding, the king found them better than all his magicians and enchanters. So lesson number one. Remain faithful to the covenant of God and remain faithful to who you are. Now the next story is a story of crisis. King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream that troubled him deeply. And he summoned his enchanters, his sorcerers, and his magi magicians to ask their counsel. He not only wanted them to explain the dream, he wanted them first to tell him what the dream was and then explain it to him. If they could not do this, they would receive. If they could do this, they would receive gifts, titles, great honor. But if they couldn't do this, they would be cut to pieces and their homes burnt into a pile of rubble. Now, when the wise men proclaimed that no one could do what the king requested, the king became furious and ordered their execution. But Daniel stepped forward and he spoke with wisdom and with tact. He asked the king to give him time so that he might do as the king asked of him. Then he returned home, and with his three, three friends, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, he prayed for help. And God answered their prayers. That night, the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. When Daniel spoke to the king, the first thing he said was, No wise man, enchanter, magician, or diviner, can explain to the king the mystery he is asked about. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. And with that, Daniel told the king what his dream was, and then he gave its interpretation. And King Nebuchadnezzar bowed low before Daniel and said, Surely your God is the God of gods, and the Lord of kings, and a revealer of mysteries, for you were able to reveal this mystery. Daniel was rewarded with honor, with wealth, and with authority over the entire province of Babylon. And Daniel's three friends became administrators in that province. So lesson number two, trust God. God alone 